Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The direct email purchase inquiry line from you to me and my crew for purchase questions about this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. And today we're discussing the 2019 Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter, sometimes known as the Great White. I'll tell you, it is definitely great. It's also more than white, as it has a fascinating combination of colors, tones, textures, and material. This is a nuanced and impressive 42 mm stainless steel watch. It's 13.7 mm thick, it wears standard on the wrist for a modern day dive watch. 42 is right in the meat of the market and a good size for all wrists. 50 mm lug to lug with a 20 mm spacing between the lugs. Throw it on the wrist real quick, take a look on my 16 cm circumference wrist and you can see it wears naturally and comfortably. I said it's a standard size for a modern dive watch, neither too large nor traditionally tiny, the way some dive watches can be. 42 feels about right, and since it's only about as broad as past Diver 300's lug to lug, it wears really well on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Now, let's take a look at the strap. A handsome strap with a satin black in between two uh, satin grain splines that give it a bit more definition. There's a little bit of a channeling on the outside to add a bit more character and, yes, more definition. It conforms nicely to the case, closing the gap to create an integrated look. You can also see how it swells to match the swell of the lugs. There is a simple stainless steel pin buckle, and this buckle was redesigned for 2018 when the new generation watch bowed. And you can see it's a handsome combination of polish and satin with a lovely relieved and polished Omega logo atop the satin of the buckle. The Helium Escape Valve, a standard on this watch since the first version of it in 1993, now shaped like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Another refinement, this Helium Valve can now be opened during a dive. So if you realize that, hey, I'm a saturation diver and I need this because I'm pro, you can open it up in the middle of the dive and that will not compromise the watch in any way. Previously, not possible. Now the bezel of the watch has an excellent action. Have a listen to it against the mic. It's a bit more mechanical than the previously somewhat duff Diver 300 meter bezel. I like that the detent is a bit louder and sharper. Now the bezel itself features a loomed pearl. It also features white enamel inside a ceramic black insert. So this is now scratch resistant black ceramic with white enamel inlaid. The dial has many of the benefits of enamel but without the fragility or cost as the dial is crafted from zirconium oxide, basically white ceramic. You can see the Omega Wave, much loved on the original versions of this watch a wall from 2012 to 2017 but it was back for 2018 and it returns in the great white for 2019 the indices as well as the traditional James Bond, as they're known, skeleton hands, are blackened for contrast against the base. And you can see that there's a little bit of a chapter ring outboard that's been broken up in sector fashion. All of it looks good and the red accents pop on the white base. Now there's a white date disc down at six o'clock. Another change for 2018 was the migration of the date from three down to six. The watch features a stop seconds function and Let's just make sure we're not in the date change danger zone. The watch also features a quick set function for the date. So you can cycle the date should the watch run down. Now the ceramic dial is excellent because it prevents oxidation, aging, fade, water damage, and it's also resistant to contact. So it has all the advantages of longevity that you'd find in an enamel dial, but without the vulnerability and expense that enamel has. Uh, turn it all over, 300 meters water resistant, coaxial automatic caliber 8800, single mainspring barrel, 55 hour power reserve, a Matas chronometer with 35 joules, the Matas standard, includes the roughly two weeks and five position testing of the COSC chronometer cert, but it adds a sixth testing position and it tests the watch as a fully assembled product rather than the COSC's bare movement test. Matas, which is a standard developed between Omega and the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, also includes tests of winding efficiency, power reserve, anti-magnetism, and water resistance, and then you've got that six position chronometric test. Full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance resistance, silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism. The watch, of course, featuring the coaxial escapement designed by George Daniels in 74 and implemented by Omega in 1999. It is now as tough with the accuracy and the minimal service requirements as George Daniels originally envisioned. And the modern tri-level coaxial escapement is one of the reasons Omega now backs these watches with a five-year warranty. It's also good looking with blackened as well as polished screws and arabesque Cote de Genève across the bridges 
and rotor. All of that and the quick set and the stop seconds. A very accurate, handsome, wearable, and up to the minute dive watch. This is a timepiece that will indulge owners with everything they desire. And because dive watches are now de rigueur, even in the office, this could be your one and only. See it and make it happen. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Omega Diver 300 meter note the loomed seconds hand as well as the differential green loom used to set the minute hand as well as the bezel pearl apart from the rest of the dial.